Good morning. Well, we're ended the working week, Friday the 11th of December. We leave you this week with a favourite psalm. We started this week with Mary and Elizabeth's faces, that lovely image of intimacy. We end it with another similar, very human image that's found in Psalm 131. My heart is not proud, O Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have stilled and quietened my soul like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. This is the peace God wants us to know. The simple trust of the well-fed child who, despite whatever else is going on in the world, is safe and content, enough to lie back in its mother's arms and find rest. We're adults, of course, and I'm not advocating we all curl up and go to sleep in God's arms. Life's not like that, though sometimes we might wish it was. It certainly wasn't like that for David, who wrote the psalm, an activist if ever there was one. David's reminding us where he gets the strength and perspective to live his life, and it doesn't all come from him. It comes from the intimacy of his relationship with God, the trust he has that God is with him and watching over him in all things. We were made for that kind of closeness with God. He wants us to be the Elizabeth to our He wants to be the Elizabeth to our Mary, the mother to our winged child. Now this is your prayer. Lord, thank you for sustaining compassionate love, which longs to draw us in and welcome us home. Rise on in our lives like the morning sun, that we might come to see everything in the light of your love. Whatever you're doing today, I hope it's a happy one. <laughs>